It was one of the toughest weekends ever. It was two days of basketball, scrimmaging, practicing skills. Um, but all in all, though it was exhausting, it was you know so exciting and so much fun to be on the court with some of the best players in the country. Number 31, Bella Allery. On the last day of trials, um, we were all brought into the Silver Room in the Olympic Training Center and um, all the girls who were trying out were sitting in this room and they just listed off the 12 players that made the team and they did it alphabetically so I knew if my name wasn't first I wasn't on the team and when they called my name I mean I just kind of froze I mean it was so exciting and so surreal to hear my name called. You know for Bella to go out and first of all to be invited to the trials as one of 30, uh, 32 the best freshmen in the country uh, and then to be amongst and with these really talented players and to make the team it's just that we kind of say here it's earned not given and she went out there to Colorado Springs as a hopeful entrant and she left as a team member and I just was going to express how proud I am for her and as I told her it's not something that she earned just just this week that was past weekend it was what she earned all year in her coachability and in her um, versatility and in her skill development so a huge compliment. July 7th I go back to Colorado Springs and I train for uh, like over a week um, there and just you know work on my game and work on you know our plays and everything with the team. Um, then we head out to Italy mid-July, um, train there for a little bit um, and then the World Championships, the World Cup um, starts I think July 22nd. We'll play there for about eight days and hopefully get a gold medal. I think the thing about Bella that people um, either are learning or, or will soon learn if she's remarkably competitive. Takes a power dribble, count it, plus the foul. Allery fired up with a chance to extend this lead. She wants to be really good and she wants Princeton to be really good. And, and uh, her commitment to her coachability, you know, she does what we ask her to do and we continually stretch her. And she stays, she stays engaged in that process of growth and, and of uh, development. And it's made her a really special player here. It's surreal, it hasn't really sunk in yet. Um, when I heard my name called, it was hard for me to process it all. Um, I called my parents immediately, I called Coach Banghart, um, and they were so excited for me. And it was, I mean, it's still sinking in, I think, talking to them about this opportunity, like the opportunity to wear USA across my chest is just incredible.